Okay, so in this video we're going to learn a trick for generating your prototype to be tested on devices. We're going to publish our project to Axia Share and open it in my Android phone. Your phone may be different from mine, but if you follow this, you should be able to make it work in your device. We've created a project with fixed widths. Example, 320 pixels wide for the small view, 560 for the medium view. Now, what if you want to test your prototype on a device with a different viewport size? Now, we can do this with some maths to reshape the viewport dynamic panel to match the aspect ratio of the target device and then scale the design by setting the initial scale property in the mobile device setting in the prototype generation settings. Okay, let's say I want to test on my HTC One Mini 2. This has a reported viewport of 360 by 640, but my prototype is set up at 320 by 480. What can I do? Well, first thing, we need to work out the difference in size ratio. This is easy. We just do the larger divided by the smaller width. For example, 360 divided by 320. This is 1.125. Now, in the prototype generation settings, under the mobile viewport options, we will find the include viewport tag checkbox. As a rule, you need this checked if you want to open your prototypes on a mobile device. Next, we see a field called initial scale. Obviously, if the device you're testing on is 320 by 480, you can leave this be, but we can also use this to scale our prototype up to the width of my HTC One Mini. Yep, you've guessed it. We plug in our 1.125 value here. We're not quite done yet, though. Uh, by doing this, we've scaled up the width up to fit my phone. 320 by 1.125 equals 360. But what about the height? Now, the scroll we've created in our prototype won't work properly if we don't get this right. Well, we need to apply the same calculations to the height. The height of our viewport panel, uh, which reveals the operable area of the design, is currently 480 pixels. If we scale this by 1.125, we get 540 pixels. Help! This doesn't match uh, the HTC One mini dimensions of 640. Okay, don't panic. What we need to do here is resize our viewport panel. What to? You're asking. More maths, I'm afraid. Well, If we want a height of 640 and we are scaling by 1.125, we need to divide 640 by our scale ratio of 1.125. This gives us an awkward number of 568.88 recurring. We'll round that down to 568 and we'll set our viewport panel to this value. Now, don't forget we also need to resize the height of the menu panel too. This is because we are adjusting the height of the viewport panel. If we didn't do this, the content underneath the menu panel would show through. So we are having to make some minor changes to some dynamic panels that make up structural aspects of the system to make this work. But importantly, we don't have to touch the content, which should flow accordingly within the viewport panel. Um, so effectively, we, we can customize uh, the prototype to work in a great number of different uh, devices just by altering these two panels and the initial scale ratio. Okay, remember Axia Share that we introduced earlier where we can share our prototypes on a public URL. We are going to publish our prototype to Axia Share now for viewing on a mobile device. First though, we need to grab a URL which is suitable for mobile, that is one without a sitemap. Uh, the sitemap will break our design on mobile. 
we can get this link here. We will then use this uh, to open it on our mobile device. Here's some footage of it working. It should be scaled and working nicely for us. So to summarize the technique, uh, we've changed the height of the viewport panel to match the aspect ratio of the target device and scaled the design up using the initial scale attribute of the viewport tag. I must point out that this technique, whilst useful for testing on different devices, isn't particularly suitable for passing on as specifications for developers because the initial scale property scales the design's height as well as the width. Building responsively for the web, you'd only size width in percentage and not the height, i.e. the width would scale, but the height wouldn't. I think when designing responsively, it's important to establish a dialogue with your developers and agree early on to uh, agree early on about the, the level of detail required in your specifications. Okay, thanks very much for listening. You're now an adaptive design wizard in Axia 7. You can find more from me on my website and blog, wedesignexperience.co.uk. If you've got any questions or feedback about the screencast, please contact me. Uh, you can do that via the website. Uh, or you can find me on the Axia forum on the uh, my handle is stu news that's s t u n e w s okay thank you very much for your time and best of luck with your uh, future exploits on axia